here on Bubble Lush. It is cycle day three, and this morning was a very big morning. Hannah just woke up from a nap, and so she is kind of walking around here in the den. And um, anyways, I wanted to tell you about our morning. So Sunday, or Saturday and Sunday, the fertility clinic has um, one doctor on staff, and it's, they are just open for ultrasounds and um, kind of emergency situations. So. I wasn't originally going to get a cycle day three um, ultrasound and blood work, but they were kind of surprised by how quickly I started cycle day one. And my doctor wasn't in town to tell them otherwise. He was out again this weekend, so um, I was okay with going in for a cycle day three ultrasound. Um, better safe than sorry, and the more knowledge we have, the better this cycle is going to go. So I went in at, um, what time was our appointment, Hanny? Let's see, we left... 9.15. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Our appointment was at 9.15. We got there about 9.05. Um, I I had to bring Hannah with me because Chris was working this morning. And I don't really like showing up super early for my appointments if I have Hannah because I want to limit the amount of time that she is in the waiting room. Um, there were already two couples there waiting. One woman was like basically curled up in her husband's lap crying and so I felt awful about having Hannah there because I know how sensitive um, some women that are going through fertility are about um, pregnant women and babies and stuff like that and especially like a toddler running around so I tried to keep her entertained with her baby doll and her kitty cat and um, snacks and stuff but and she didn't have any temper tantrums or anything like that but she is a kid and she was you know, giggling and running around and stuff. So, um, hopefully they are not, they weren't upset by it. Um, and I kind of told the doctor and the nurse that like, I am aware that some people think it's insensitive to bring a child to a fertility clinic and I totally get it. However, I, I don't have a babysitter for Sunday morning, you know, so I had to bring her. Um, anyways, so we got in there and <laughs> she goes, so you're cycle day three? And I go, yeah. She goes, are you still spotting? And I was like, oh, way more than spotting. It's going to be a full on bloodbath in here. <laughs> she just looked at me like, Carla. <laughs> She's the same nurse that, um, was with my original doctor. I've known her the whole time. She was pregnant when I was trying to conceive Hannah. So her son and Hannah are about the same age. This was actually the first time she got to meet Hannah. And, um, so anyways, I, I've known her for a long time. She has been, you know, in the room during multiple mid-cycle scans. So I feel really comfortable with her. So I was just joking around and she, she thought, thought that was really funny. But um, I, I was honest with her. I was like, you know, I don't think I've ever done a cycle B3 ultrasound, maybe like way in the beginning. Um, and if I, if I did, I honestly like blocked it out. I was so mortified by it and I'm still kind of mortified by it. Um, you know, it's probably totally normal to them, but I would assume it's probably easily on their top 10 list of things that they hate yeah. doing. I wouldn't blame them. Um, it's, it's all kind of gross. <laughs> and Hannah was a little freaked out by the fact that there was like a man all up in mommy's business. So, but she did pretty good. My lining looked really nice. I think it was 8.8 .8 grade A grade one. I don't know. Anyways, um, he was able to look at both my ovaries. He said they looked quiet. There was a lot of small cysts, but, um, they, they looked quiet. So that's always good. And, um, he said my lining looked really great and everything was good to go. And I was like, perfect. So, um, we did have to wait a while in the waiting room. We were in there probably about 45 minutes past our appointment time. And um, the pharmacy down there by the fertility clinic, which is like used to giving out fertility medicine, they're closed on the weekends. So we had to go um, up to the main hospital pharmacy. And when I got there, even though the prescription had been called in on Friday and it had been confirmed when I was down there getting my ultrasound, they still didn't have it. So um, he goes, the wait time is about an hour. And I was like, all right. So I went and changed Hannah's diaper and then I gave her a toy and I just kind of let her play in the waiting room. There was only like one other person in there and I figured if Hannah annoyed them maybe they would move us up the <laughs> up, up the line because we were like the only ones waiting. And there was only like one other lady waiting and she left pretty quickly so it was just us and I figured if Hannah annoyed them then maybe they would move us up the list <laughs> and, and we would get our prescription filled a little quicker. 
because like I said, we were the only ones there waiting. So whatever. Um, so then when she goes, well, he goes, your prescription is ready. And I was like, okay, um, did you check and make sure that the insurance, you know, did you see if, if the insurance was going to cover it? And the lady like pipes up and she goes, I don't have any information, insurance information from you. And I thought to myself, well, that's kind of funny because I had a baby here and I've gone to like a million doctor's appointments here. So all my information should be in the system, but I guess you're not connected to like the main system. So you want to come sit up by me? You can come up here. Oh. You're going to eat an apple? I don't think they can see you. You want to come say hi? Oh. You see? See you. I see you. Um, anyways, so she goes, oh, now, you know, I don't have your insurance information. So I gave her my cards and, um, here's what I'll let you guys in on the reason why I kind of like pushed for them to check my cards. Chris called the insurance agency on Friday, Friday afternoon, and he spoke with three different people to make sure, but apparently our insurance covers Falstam. Instead of paying... 300, 600, 900 dollars, you know, for the 300, 600, 900 unit vials. Um, it's just 30 bucks a vial, regardless of how much. Oh, um, there's no limit as long as it keeps being prescribed. Thank you. It's just going to be 30 bucks a vial, which is, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's like such a blessing. I'm so glad to have insurance. I'm so thankful. I'm so like, I, I was so cautiously optimistic. Chris sent me the text message letting me know that it was covered, and I was like, you've got to be kidding me. Like, I'm not gonna believe it until I see it, but like, that would be amazing. Amazing. So, wouldn't it be amazing? Amazing. So, uh, I go, when I handed her the cards, I go, I'm under the impression it's gonna be $30, a, a cartridge or a vial. And she goes, oh, okay. So she ran it up and called him, did whatever, and she came over and she was like, yep, 30 bucks, so it's going to be $60 for these two, and I was just like, amazed. I was expecting to pay $900, and I was charged $60. Like, I think you guys get it. Like, I, it is awesome. It's so awesome. I'm so happy. Mwah! So I wanted to show you guys um, what we got. Hello. Hello, my baby. Okay. Oh, thank you. So first we've got a 300 IU Follistim AQ cartridge. Cartridge. Not a vial. Cartridge. Yes. And then, um, a yeah. And then a 600 IU. I'll do the 600 one first. We're doing 75 IUs a day. Whoa. And I'm going back um, the morning of injection day seven. So I will have done six 75 IU injections. Um, so that is 450, about, am I doing the math right on that? Yeah, about 450 IUs when I go in for my next ultrasound. So um, I will still have quite a bit left and um, yeah. Uh, la, la, la. So then he also gave me the Falston pen. It comes in a box like this. A little thing like this. Unzip it. Open it up. And these are all the uh, tiny little pens that you use to inject yourself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Love it. Yeah. And then this is the pen. So we learned how to use the pen on Friday. Cycle day one. We didn't know it was cycle day one yet. You need to stop hitting the tripod, okay? Thank you. So, anyways, I got the 300 IU cartridge, 600 IU cartridge, the pin, and the little needles, plus um, a sharps container. Pen. Whoa. Pen. You want to play with the beads? Open. Open. Thank you. So, yeah. I'm like good to go and I'm excited. Tonight is the first injection. I think we're going to give them about um, somewhere between 7 and 8 p.m. 
we gotta kind of look at the schedule and see what's going on. The only night that's going to prove to be a problem is Saturday night. Chris doesn't get home until like 11.30 on Saturday night, so I might have to inject myself one day this week. <laughs> I'm like freaked out about that. I really do not want to inject myself, but hopefully um, by that time I will have had, you know, like five or six injections under my belt and um, I'll know what to expect and it won't be as scary. But definitely these first ones, Chris is going to give them to me. He gave me all of my blood thinning uh, Lovenox shots when I was postpartum. I have a blood clotting disorder and that's why I have to be on a clot um, blood thinner. You are at a hypercoagulated state and a extremely high risk for blood clots postpartum and um, with my blood clotting disorder it just wasn't something that we wanted to take a risk on so I was on Lovenox blood thinner for six to eight weeks postpartum and Chris gave me the shot every night so he has no problem doing it he's also done all my Ovidrol shots and I don't think I've ever injected myself so <laughs> yeah but I think with the pen it'll be easy if I have to so I think that is about it Hannah what do you think? Even better on the drive home, Tana fell asleep. So, and then she took an like almost three hour long nap. It's amazing. I got three loads of laundry done. Um, I got some memory cards cleaned out. So great. This is a good day. You wanna say bye-bye? Bye-bye. They can't see you, come closer. <gasps> there you are. Can you say bye-bye? Bye-bye. You were a really good girl today. I appreciate it. You did such a great job. You want to blow kisses? Ma. Ma. <laughs> oh, she kissed my leg. That's so nice. Ma. Usually when we ask you, you want a brother. Brother. Would you like a brother? Brother. Or a sister? 